that dogs are man's best friend. We all love our pets, we all love our dogs, but unfortunately sometimes there are accidents involving dogs, whether it's an attack or a bite or a scratch, and sometimes those can have legal repercussions. David Green from Green and Phillips is here to tell us all about it. David, good to see you. Nice to see you. All right, no one wants this to happen. Like I said, everyone loves their pets, but are there legal cases involving dog bites? Well, as a matter of fact, there are, and you know, these happen all the time. A lot of times people don't realize that they have a claim or a case. I had a child case one time where a dog kind of catapulted off of a couch, hit, a, hit the la young lady in the face, severely injured her face, had terrible scarring, and the family called me and they said, we're not sure if we can do anything. Mm -hmm. What can we do? And as a matter of fact, we were able to achieve a very successful settlement for that family. Uh, the young lady was okay. She had some plastic surgery, but anytime someone's been attacked or bitten by a dog, they need to talk to a local lawyer to find out their rights. So I guess one of the things is who's responsible? How do you take a look at that angle of this? Well, that's tough. That, that's very tough. Sometimes uh, there may not be a responsible party, but if you own a dog and you have him in a fence and he gets out of the fence or he's not on a leash, um, a lot of times there may be a homeowner's policy that's going to kick in if you file a claim against the, the individual or file suit against them. So it's a little bit hairy. It's a little bit difficult. That's why you need a local lawyer to look at this. What do dog owners out there need to know to tr try to prevent something like this? Well, use all the safety precautions. I know we were walking in our neighborhood the, the other day and I noticed that uh, there was a dog off the leash. The owner quickly put the leash on them. Mm -hmm. Always be socially responsible and put the leash on the dog. Keep them safely away from kids or other adults as well. All right, so we talk about different types of accidents. We've talked about car wrecks. Usually police are on the scene. Maybe there's some pictures or videos. What if someone's bitten by a dog? What should they do immediately afterwards? First thing, call 911. Make sure there's a report filed that a dog, a black dog or a brown dog or a whatever color dog came out and bit me at, uh, at this location. And then an investigation, investigation can be launched and you can find who the dog owner is because actually they're going to do that. The officers are going to find that dog, but potentially quarantine that dog and make sure there's not a rabies issue. All right, so if folks have any questions about whether or not they have a case or want more information, how can they contact y'all? It's very, very easy, 51 North Florida Street or call us at 300-2000. All right, sounds good. You can find that on fox10tv.com. David, thank you so much. Glad to have you over.